Now, I'm going to visualize it for you. Then we're going to break it down. C is the kind of question you will jalat jalat in exam one. You need to consolidate whatever you are you learn. Okay. Now, let's break it down very simply. This is what relationship like what relationship you're looking to. Are you looking at line and line, line and plane, point and plane, or what? What plane and plane? This is obviously a point to a point to plane, right? So basically, you're looking at because you're not looking about plane to plane one. You are looking at this point should be equal distance to plane one, and it should be equal distance to plane two. What is equal distance? Same distance. So from secondary school, you learn, for example, if say is same distance, this is a wall here, this is another wall here. If equal distance, any, any point which is equal distance would be any uh, angle bisector, right? Correct? So the reason being is because um, if angle bisector, this would be 90 degrees, ma, 90 degrees. Ma. Just remember that the the, the equal distance to two walls, right, is a angle bisector there that you're, you're walking towards. Okay, that is very important. So let me illustrate this out for you. Uh. Um, this part here, obviously you, you don't have this calculated in exam, uh, but with the different C, uh, I could actually adjust the height of my A. Okay, and I am trying to adjust such that it becomes an equal distance Oh yeah, it's very hard to see. Yeah? So this is obviously not an equal distance because it's so far away. Uh, this is nearer to this plane than that plane. Now, you realize that this is three-dimensional, so it's really, really hard to be able to see it. Huh? So, but we're going to... Um, minus 49 is the answer, right? So I'm, I'm just going to cheat. Huh? So this is minus 49, roughly there. Okay, can uh, minus 49. So this part here, how come this one looks like so far away? Can ask him, uh. Oh, because I, I, I never key in the answer properly, uh, the equation. Minus 6x plus 3, 3y plus 2z Okay, great. So this is it. So, right, as you can see these two planes here, right, uh, this is where it's equal distance to it. Lah. Okay, you see that? Um, how? Yeah, how do you get it? I, yeah, there you go. This is equal distance, right? This is, you can tell that this is sort of like near. Okay, so break it down. How do we do it? Is obviously this is not the only way because the, the reason why there are two answers is because if you sway to the other side, uh, above here also you can actually find one point here which is like equal distance on the other side. Okay, so two planes, one side, top and bottom. There are two other solutions there. Let's see how we can do that. So break the question down nicely. If it's equal distance, right, you're looking at distance. So what is this? So if it's, if point, so point P to P1, is equal distance to point P to P2, okay? So is it correct to say that the shortest distance of P to P1 is equal to, is point P, is it? Point A. Point A to P1 is equal to the shortest distance of A to P2. Because if you are if you are equal distance to plane one and equal distance to plane two, what will naturally be is your shortest distance, you you walk the shortest distance to the first wall, the first plane P1, will be the same distance walking to plane two. Okay? Okay? So that is the that is the key thing. Now this is where it becomes tricky. This is where then you need to recall what you have already learned. Uh, you, then you need to flip to, don't know which page to find the shortest distance or point to a plane one, if you're not familiar, okay? But stick with me. I think at the start of our lesson, we did, did that point to plane. So this case here, just draw A. Uh, if you don't remember, it's okay, just follow me. 
you sh- just remember how to think properly. Like basically, if you are talking about distance, you need to use magic triangle one. There's no other way around it. So for this is plane. I, I will just draw this two thing out. First one is plane one. Second one is plane two. Okay. So the first one, plane one, we have got two minus two one. So this is the normal here. This part here will be This is uh, 2 minus 2, 1. And normal 2, which is actually uh, neg- negative 6, 3, 2. Okay. Okay, now, if you have problem, just refer to page page 22. You did it last week and the start of a lesson, okay? But if you want to try and recall, you can try and recall this. So this is the top process. The first thing is I want to find a shorter distance. Um, this part here. Okay. If we shorter distance, meaning I need to force a point out from the plane because I need a triangle. Any kind of distance, you need a magic triangle. There's no magic triangle here because there's no point on the plane which for you to project. So just guess a point on the plane. That's why this is a very, very important skill. Uh, guess a point on plane one. You can just guess one, which is zero, zero, 001. Very straightforward, right? A point on the plane will be zero, zero, 001. Uh, second point on the plane will be uh, 0 minus 1, Z1. Am I correct? So plane 2, 0, zero 1 will be on plane 1, right? You all understand what I'm saying, right? So plane 1, because plane 1 is 2, 2x two minus 2y two plus 1 equals to 1. Plane 2 is negative 6x plus 3y plus 2y, this is y, sorry, equals to negative 1. Mix and match, whichever gives you a 1 would be, so this point here, I know 0, 0, 1 will give me, so this will be a point zero zero one. And uh, this will mix and match, I know that uh, the point 0, negative 1, 1 will give me, uh, will satisfy the point. So this will be 0, negative 1, 1. Okay. So get label the points. Uh, let it be B and C. La. Okay. So just write down, let B and C be points on P1 and P2, respectively. So can could you zoom out a little bit? Okay, can, sure, there you go. Is that okay? Yeah. So can you do the magic triangle? What are you looking for? Okay, I don't want to are you also following? So you find a shortest distance by labeling it. So this is A B. This is A B. Okay, so uh, maybe I just do this. Uh. This is angle here. You're using you, you you need to find the adjacent side. This is a hypo. This is a normal. So adjacent would be cosine. Cosine would be dot product. All right, that's the top process. Actually, you only need to know three concepts very well, which is top product, cross product, and the magic triangle. You can conquer like most of the questions. <laughs> then the rest is just mix and match of these concepts, which is quite daunting to be honest. 
if you don't practice, uh, <laughs> don't be careful. It's, it's tough, uh, it's tough. Okay. Uh, after today, you can do practically most of the questions on the portal already. So can you please make sure that you go to the portal uh, and practice, okay? So, uh, okay. Go to the old link. Uh. The old link is still working. Okay, so um, the, the new link, we, we are still tr uh, importing, uh, but most of your old stuff will be still there. Go to the vectors, right? You practice until you die. Uh. You confirm can do it on. Okay, so uh, like that. You go to your vectors Q&A, right? Vectors, we have a lot. When I say a lot, it's like, I, I think I'm not, I'm not sure how many questions are there there. <laughs> 31 questions. Is it 31? Yeah, 31 questions. Apart from this, the prelim promo revision sets. Also, last year one, just do it. Okay? Just do it. Do until you, you really like, like, just, just keep doing it. It will come to you and you just have to keep doing it. Now, this one here will be a, b, dot, n, unit vector. Okay? Then this one here will obviously be a, c, dot, n, two, unit vector. So, uh, what I'll get is actually And on unit vector, so you need the dot. So this case will be uh, minus four Okay, question us. Uh. Uh, there is no more concept for vectors. There's no more concept for vectors really. Whatever you, whatever questions moving forward, it will be more and more, uh, it's just a mix and match of whatever I've taught you. So today onwards, go and do, I will, don't do your school tutorials. School tutorials, the last time I checked, no video solutions. Do the vectors Q&A and the promo revision set last day one. Everything which is like vectors where you can get hold on the, on the, on the portal, just do it until you can. It, that's all you need to know. Like really, no more concepts really. The rest is just, next week we will just spend one lesson to do vectors, drill. Then once we finish drilling really, we will move on to complex numbers. Okay, so this part here is pretty okay. So this will be minus eight plus six minus one minus six. This is nine. 24 minus 12, 2c minus 2 over uh, 36 plus 36, 9 plus 4 is 3. Okay, great. So this part here, um, this one secondary school concept. Uh, so what you need to do is just uh, change one side plus minus. So it's just like that. When you open up, plus minus three. Uh, modulus, right? One side plus minus. Just one side. Yeah. So this would be minus seven C. Ah, ha, ha, something is wrong. <sighs> I 
negative 4, negative 4, c minus 1, negative 4, negative 4, 4, negative 4, oh crap, negative 4 plus, negative 4, yeah, correct, correct, 4, or oh, 1 minus c, Twenty four minus twelve plus two, which is fourteen. Sorry for the mistake there. So be C thirteen thirty five. Is it okay? Yes, quite, huh? Okay, so now you okay, give me a thumbs up.